published, 808 EDT, the 6th of April 2018, updated, 1425 EDT, the 6th of April 2018 Jackson, pictured, 26, has apologized for degrading remarks and said he is ashamed the woman left his home distressed island and Ulster rugby star Paddy Jackson, who was last week acquitted of rape, has said he is ashamed the woman who accused him left his home distressed. The fly half has also apologized for engaging in degrading and offensive WhatsApp chats and said he has betrayed his family's values. Jackson, 26, and his Ireland and Ulster teammate Stuart Holding, 25, were unanimously acquitted at Belfast Crown Court, last week of raping the same woman at a party at his South Belfast home in June 2016. His apology came just hours after campaigners demanding he and Olding be dropped from the Ireland and Ulster rugby teams. Their critics bought a full-page advert signed off by concerned fans in the Belfast Telegraph newspaper. Jackson was also found not guilty of sexual assault. He said he would always regret the events of the night in question. He apologized unreservedly for engaging in degrading and offensive WhatsApp conversations about the incident. The fly half said public criticism of his behavior was fully justified and he expressed determination to return to the values and principles that guided his upbringing in particular the importance of respect, hashtags hashtag I believe her, hashtag I stand with her, and hashtag me too have become rallying cries for the protesters against the decision protesters hold up signs after Ireland rugby internationals Paddy Jackson and Stuart Holding were found not guilty of raping. A woman at a 2016 party, in Dublin stand with survivors is a solidarity campaign for victims of sexual assault Jackson and Olding have both expressed a desire to return to playing action, but they remain relieved of their duties pending the outcome of a review into their conduct by Ulster Rugby and the Irish Rugby Football Union, IRFU. In the wake of his acquittal, Olding, pictured, also expressed regret for his involvement in the incident. Jackson's full statement reads, I am ashamed that a young woman who was a visitor to my home left in a distressed state. This was never my intention and I will always regret the events of that evening. I am also truly sorry for engaging in a WhatsApp group chat which was degrading and offensive and I apologize unreservedly for this. The criticism of my behavior is fully justified and I know I have betrayed the values of my family and those of the wider public. Following the trial I have taken time to reflect with my family on the values that were such an integral part of my upbringing the most important of which is respect. My departure from these values has caused understandable public anger and I am resolutely committed to returning to those principles. The crowd-funded advert that appeared in the newspaper hours before his apology said, the content of the social media exchanges involving Paddy Jackson and Stuart Holding was reprehensible. Such behavior falls far beneath the standards that your organizations represent. As such, we demand that neither of these men represent Ulster or Ireland now or at any point in the future. Here, a woman holds up a sign with a pink Venus symbol containing a fist on it and the statement for every woman who has had to say hashtag me too hundreds of women are protesting in Dublin today after their acquittal. This woman held a placard saying stand with survivors WhatsApp messages sent by Stuart Holding and Paddy Jackson were read to Belfast Crown Court, during evidence presented by the prosecution. In one, Holding said, we are all top shggrs, before adding, it was like a merry-go-around at a carnival. The court heard he also wrote, there was a bit of spit roasting going on last night fellas. Jackson replied on the same WhatsApp messaging service, there was a lot of spit. Campaigners banded together to raise cash online, with a fundraising page stating the advert would cost pound two comma dot in total two thousand one hundred and fifteen pounds was raised through the page which said we must raise these funds, so we can influence these organizations, which, decide upon these men's futures. In the wake of his acquittal, Olding also expressed regret for his involvement in the incident. 
Two other men were unanimously acquitted of lesser charges related to the case. Blaine McIlroy, 26, was acquitted of exposure while Rory Harrison, 25, was found not guilty of perverting the course of justice and withholding information. The jury decision led to huge demonstrations in Belfast, Londonderry, Cork, Limerick, Galway, Dublin. Protesters were pictured marching under placards proclaiming hashtag I believe here. These protesters outside Belfast City Hall held up signs saying we believe her. The protest was organized by the socialist feminist movement it followed revelations that the rugby players boasted with their friends about his spit roasting on a WhatsApp group. The jury was told that Holding allegedly wrote we are all top SHRS, before adding, it was like a merry-go-around at a carnival. He also wrote, there was a bit of spit roasting going on last night fellas, the court heard. Jackson replied on the same WhatsApp messaging service. There was a lot of spit. Messages in their group included jokes about pumping birds and a photograph was shared with the caption Love Belfast S. In one message, McIlroy posted a picture of himself and three girls who had been at the after party where the rape was alleged to have happened. In another message also read out, McIlroy boasted, pumped a bird with Jacko on Monday, roasted her, then another on Tuesday night. In one exchange on June 30, 2016, Harrison expressed hope the case against his friends could be dismissed. He said, hopefully it's just thrown out. Just a silly girl who's done something then regretted it. Yeah, surely it will be, I know but she's causing so much trouble for the lads. Yeah mate, if that got out like. The other thing is the cops went straight to lay kiss, the then Ulster rugby coach, which is f ridiculous. McIlroy responded, yeah, surely the cops can't disclose that to lay kiss.